I have an idea. If you know me a little longer by now, you might know that I've designed this granny square or like granny circle turtle. It's the cutest turtle ever. It's no so and it's a pattern for beginners or like advanced crocheters and I really love it. And I designed this and I thought let's make it bigger. So what I then came up with was this jumbo granny square tortoise and it's like the same turtle or like tortoise but with more granny squares and like a whole tortoise shell and it's still no so it's super jumbo it's also it's like crocheted with the same yarn as you can see they are both having the same yarn and with the same hook but it's like super big and of course my brain is like I want to make it even bigger so if this is crocheted with size 6 yarn I could go ahead and crochet this with size 7 jumbo yarn and I'm going to do this in this video. So stay with me if you want to see how this bad boy gets like humongous. I've already ordered some yarn. I'm waiting for the package at the moment. I've ordered Yarn Art Dolce Maxi yarn, which I worked before with. Of course, as always, you can have bad luck with the skein or like good luck, but all in all, so far I had only good experiences with the yarn and I hope that the ones that I've ordered are a good quality and it's super affordable. But other than that, I always like to crochet with Hobby Honey Bunny Big as well. But I only order this yarn if there's a sale, but there is none at the moment. So I decided for Yarn Art Dolce Maxi. And I've decided to order Off-White for the body as I did for the other tortoises or like turtles. I ordered yellow, pale pink and pale orange to keep it like super subtle and pastel-y. And I don't know in which direction or like in which order I will crochet those in the granny squares, but those are the colors I ordered and I'm super excited and I'll let you guys know as soon as the package arrives. Okay, you guys, my package arrived. Okay, I mean, look at the colors. Oh my God, they are so pretty. Okay, so the body color already looks so soft. It's super high quality i love it yarna dolce maxi i'm telling you guys it's a super good brand this is a little bit more stiff though i feel like it's really like skein by skein is different uh by the way i've i linked this in my amazon storefront uh if you want to check it out the yarn it's linked uh, this will be the body color and then those three colors will form the shell or like the granny squares and i feel like I kind of would love to make like a usual flower theme with like a yellow middle circle and then like pink petals and then the orange would be the outside but I feel like it's just not fitting so maybe I'm doing this instead so yellow for the middle orange for the petals and then pink for the corners and yeah I'm super excited I'll let you guys know as soon as I'm starting out to need 350 grams of this one I only have 200 so I need one more skein of the orange and let's see for the pink one I needed 40 grams so 40 times 7 is 280 so I need one more of the of this one as well okay so now I know that I need more skeins more skeins let's order more skeins <laughs> Thank you. 
So I already crocheted one granny square and it is huge. It has the size of my head, like literally <laughs> can cover my whole face with it. And yeah, I love the colors really. They are so springy, summery. I really love them. And I am currently crocheting on the second one and I ordered the new orange yarn. I actually saw that I have one more skein of this. Not a whole skein, but it will be enough, I feel like, um, in my stash. So I didn't order this one. I only ordered the orange one. Sorry for the background noising. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm now just sitting here crocheting with maybe one more. Um, then I need a break and um, like for my hands and my mind and yeah. So it's a few days later and I started to crochet again. I decided to first crochet all of the middle circles and then like work from there on through the colors because I'm loving to be like efficient and I feel like if you have a step right it's easier. And here I just recognized that the orange yarn won't be enough because like this was not even half of the flowers and I used up my first skein. So this is my last flower when I finished all of them and I needed to crochet the last petal with this pink, which is like not a big deal for me because I feel like crochet isn't perfect and it shouldn't be perfect. And I love little flaws in my crochet actually. So here are all of my finished granny squares. And yeah, here I'm just crocheting the last color which is this pink and I didn't like the pink actually, it was super dry. Oh and here I kind of saw that this is the normal size of my granny squares and this one is so much bigger and at this point I actually didn't know what it was. I was just like, I don't know, maybe I had a loose attention today, but I was like, okay, that's fine. Still, I love flaws in my crochet. So I needed actually to get some more yarn and I got this basket full of jumbo yarn on top of my yarn shelf. And this is the pink skein I was telling about earlier in the video that I have left from another project and it's the same, which is great. And let's quickly appreciate my cutie little cat. She's the cutest, I love her. And yeah, now I'm finished. All the seven granny squares are done. I'm so excited to just lay them out here. And this was the big one and I still didn't know what it was. I will find out in a second. But yeah, um, I'm just laying them out, them out and this is the layout. I love it and I love the colors. Here I'm starting to connect them. And this is where I find out, like in a second, wait for it, I will find out that the square that I had in the middle the one that is larger has seven petals and I don't know why. That's why I had to frog everything again and actually I didn't want to remake it so I freehanded the tortoise shell. I didn't follow the pattern um, for connecting the tortoise shell now. So, but yeah, I've, of course <laughs> I managed to do it. And again, I played yarn chicken and I won, yes. Um, and I thought it would be cute to have the shell on my back, but it wasn't. Yeah, and here I'm just starting to crochet the belly and the white actually was so good to crochet with. It was so, so soft. And this actually is not, it's, it's like normal speed, <laughs> if you believe it or not. Uh, I'm not a super fast crocheter, but I feel like I'm quite fast. But oh, do you have that as well? That if you have like this loop of slipping out of the hook or like the loops, it just doesn't stop it just will do that forever and here I'm just doing an invisible finish off because I love the look of that as you can see you don't see that I finished off and that's what I love here are all the legs and the tail finished so you guys I finished the head and I played yarn chicken yet again uh, I lost it so many times now and this is the next time because I managed to finish all the body parts like the legs the tail and the head but now I ran out of white. So that means I will have to crochet the belly with beige because I'm willing and I'm dedicated to finish this project today. I, I don't want to have to crochet this project on another day, so I want to finish it today. So I will crochet the belly with beige yarn that I have left over on my shelf. I will get it down a second. So if you want to make your own giant green square tortoise, um, you will need one skein of the yellow, two skeins of the orange because 
two skeins would have been enough for me as well if I wouldn't have the mistake with the seven petals instead of the six, it would have been enough. Then two skeins of the pink and three skeins of the white should be enough. But to go extra sure, you can order four skeins of white, but three skeins should be enough. But yeah, this is everything material-wise or like yarn-wise I need it now. And I will see you in a second when the Grim Square Tortoise is done because I really want to get it done now. And I will put some eyes now on the on the head and stuff it and finish the turtle. And I will see you guys in a second with hopefully a finished tortoise. Oh, by the way, I have those huge, 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 huge safety eyes still at home from my project of my giant alpaca so i will use those i will pop on the onto the screen um, how large they are and yeah i will use them i hope they are big enough but if they have been big enough for the giant alpaca they will be big enough for the turtle and yeah looks great okay can you guys believe that i'm finished oh my god this took way longer than I thought. The initial tortoise with size 6 chenille yarn took me about three hours. This took me about five hours. It's about to get dark now. So I quickly get my footage that I want to get. So I want to show you the tortoise and then I need to get some cool photos with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me grab it. Okay, so here we go. This is her. She is the cutest thing ever and she is so big. Like like she is <laughs> so so big <laughs> she's like at least human sized um <laughs> she's crazy i don't know she's so comfy cozy and she she can be like she will live on my sofa now my boyfriend will hate me but she is like the perfect cuddle buddy i feel like i mean look at this she's like oh and i made the belly beige but i think i told you and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like this color that I picked, or like the colors, are just so perfect and it's so cute. I don't know. I'm super happy with how she turned out. And she will be the perfect pillow and she will be my perfect cuddle buddy. So yeah, um, this is how I made this giant Granny Square tortoise. If you want to make your own, I will link the pattern down below. As I said, with Sussex yarn, it's super quick to make. With Jumbo yarn, it takes a little bit longer, but it's so worth it, I feel like, because she's just so huge and so cute. <laughs> so yeah, this is it for this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to don't miss out on any further of my vlogs, content, crochet, everything. Yeah, I'm quite overwhelmed by this guy. <laughs> but other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.